So in a traditional uh, Navy ship, a traditional Navy frigate, uh, most in the past the would probably be a, a gas turbine main propulsion unit with a gearbox and uh, and then that that running through to the shafts and the propellers and they could be two gas turbines or maybe four in the case of a large ship uh, and a gearbox it could be single gearboxes per shaft or, or a cross connect type gearbox but in any event all mechanical type uh, solutions so one of the things that you can do is to you can either change that to be an all electric type propulsion system where you would eliminate uh, most of the mechanical equipment and, uh, and just use uh, large electric motors to direct drive the propellers. Um, or one thing which is becoming much more popular uh, with, na with global navies and, and I think in the US here as well as a hybrid electric type solution which is, gives you some of the advantages of each type of solution. So in a, in a system like that you, you would still have uh, gas turbine um, uh, main propulsors and you would still have a uh, gearbox, a cross-connect type gearbox or a single gearbox per shaft, but now you would actually have uh, uh, you would actually have an electric motor probably mounted on the shaft, although it could be mounted on the gearbox, uh, to provide some of the some of the power. And typically you would have uh, the electric motor rated to provide you enough power to get the ship up to uh, cruising speed, so maybe 16, 17 knots, something like that for a Navy. And then in a fight or flight type situation, uh, you would the, the, the ship could then switch over to gas turbine propulsion, and they would either add the electric power from the motor to the gas turbine, or just use the gas turbine on its own, depending on the exact configuration. But the point is you would use the electric machine for probably 90% of the time because that's how most navies operate, uh, in either loitering mode or, or cruising type mode. So you'd get all the benefits of electric drive but still have the capability of the gas turbine at the, at the top. The electric motor uh, sits at the, on the shaft. Um, you have a shaft through here with the uh, propeller coming through and then that would be controlled with a uh, variable speed uh, drive, a uh, piece of electronic uh, equipment. And, uh, and that would all go through to the control system of the ship. Other things you can do, uh, and this, may, this is something really the Navy is thinking about in the future, is you might have battery energy storage to provide some of the power for your electric system or indeed for other, other systems on the ship, um, uh, radar, whatever uh, other electric systems there, there may be on the ship. So the FFGX has, the, the Navy has specified they want to have space for future for a, a, a basically an energy storage type system so that they will have the flexibility to add that in the future. On the, the FFGX uh, platform we're uh, offering to Fincantieri, there's a uh, medium voltage 4160 volt power distribution system. So the generators will provide the power through the ship, through the distribution system, to the drives, which will then control and, and uh, uh, power the motors.